American bitterns show up in North Dakota in early May and leave in October when the wetlands start to freeze. American bitterns are mostly brown with some white on them, but if you take a close look at their breast, there's these dark brown streaks, and that really helps them when they're standing in the cattails or the vegetation. It, it looks like they're part of the vegetation, so they stand really still and then the prey can't see them. American bitterns stand about three feet tall and weigh about one pound. They are a wading bird with long legs to help them walk around in wetland vegetation. Bitterns also have a sharp striking bill to catch prey. American bitterns will wait until prey comes to them. So they'll stand very still in the cattails and the wetland vegetation. They have downward facing eyes. If you, if you look at them straight on, you'll actually see those eyes kind of face down. So they'll just stand there and wait for prey to either swim or fly by them. Bitterns are a secretive bird, typically found in wetlands. Yet we found a bird nesting in grasslands and placed a camera and waited for the bird to come back to the nest. They'll build a platform of cattails and reeds just above the water, but occasionally they do nest in the uplands and grassland. Uh, places that you'd find ducks and other birds nesting, you might see an American bittern in the grassland. But this is pretty rare. They're, like I said, they're usually in wetlands, but occasionally they'll nest in the grasslands. A lot of times you won't see an American bittern in wetlands, but you certainly know they're there because of their unique call. American bitterns have a very deep call. It's usually the males that call, and it's a very low call because low sounds travel further across vegetation, thick vegetation. So that's one way to know that there's bitterns in the area is just listen for this deep call. To get a peek at this secretive migrant, slow down and look closely for a bird imitating wetland vegetation. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.